Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to take your cinematography game to the next level by adding black bars using Adobe Premiere Elements. I actually don't have an intro for my tutorial videos. Maybe I should ask Dan Mace to make one for me. Okay, so let's get started. There's a lot of creators out there today that are using the Adobe Premiere platform. Most of the tutorials that I've seen are for Adobe Premiere CS. I happen to have Adobe Elements, so I wanted to share some of the tips and tricks that I've come across using Adobe Elements. So today, I'm going to show you how to add cinematic black bars to your videos using Adobe Premiere Elements and then I'm going to show you how you can actually fade those black bars in from the top and bottom to give you the ultimate and cinematic experience when you're transitioning from one scene to the other. So let's dive into it. Now that we have our computer opened up, we're going to show you how to add black bars to your videos for that cinematic look. First thing you want to do is open up Adobe Premiere Elements. We're using Premiere Elements 2019 here, but this tutorial will work with older versions as well. You want to click on your video editor, and that's going to open up the editor workspace. Once opened up, you want to go to the top left hand corner, click on File, New, Project. We want to click on the Change Settings button here. Go to DSLR, 1080p, 24. We're setting our timeline to a 24p timeline by doing this. 24p is a great frame rate. That's what most people are used to seeing. We're going to rename this to widescreen for the purposes of this tutorial. And we're going to click on OK. Now we need some media. So in the top left hand corner, we're going to click on add media, files and folders. We have some media on our desktop here we're gonna use. Wanna drag this down to the timeline. We'll just trim this down a little bit. We don't need all of it. And we're going to delete the audio. Right click on the clip and delete audio. Now you can see here that our clip is upside down. So we want to flip it around. We're going to right click it, rotate the clip. Now, this looks pretty cool. It's a car driving through the mountains. Can't get much better than that. Beautiful scenery on the Coquihalla Highway. Gorgeous mountains surrounding you. But let's see what it would look like if we added some cinematic black bars. So what you're going to do is over on the right hand side you're going to click on effects, click on the magnifying glass for search and type in crop. There you will see you have the crop. Drag that over onto your clip and you can see your clip is now cropped. The left here we're going to have zero, the right we're going to put at zero, the top, we're going to put it at 12, and the bottom, we're going to put at 12 as well. So there you have it. You have your widescreen cinematic black bars giving you that beautiful look to your film. So let's have a look how this looks with and without. So there you have it. This is without, and there you go with. And if you want a little bit more effect to it, you can even increase them up to 15. You can increase it to whatever number you want. But there you have it. Cinematic black bars on the top and bottom. So you see here the transition to the black bars right now is pretty abrupt. You don't have them, you have them. So that's pretty quick. Now what we can do is we can add a transition in between them here. So we're going to use dip to black. Click apply and let's render this, have a look at what it's going to look like. 
Okay, so let's see what this looks like now that we have a transition in between a regular frame and a widescreen frame. There you have it, and there they are. So it looks better, but I think that we can make this even better still. So let me show you how to roll in the cinematic black bars. This is an incredible, simple, easy thing to do, and it'll just make your videos look that much more professional if you can have these bars roll in from the top and bottom. So very simply again, we're going to go on our FX, FX panel, we're going to click on crop, and we're going to drag that over onto our clip. This time, we're going to set everything to zero, and we're going to click on this button here to toggle an animation. We're going to drag the arrow on our timeline over to about five seconds here. And we're going to change the values of the top and bottom. I'm going to click 15 on the top and 15 on the bottom. Click enter. Now I'm going to render this through and show you the difference between black bars just appearing and black bars rolling in. This is going to give you a much more professional look to your videos to have the bars roll in from the top and bottom. So here we have our clip coming from one clip to the next and you can see the black bars just roll right in. So there you have it. Moving from scene to scene, this is an excellent way to transition your black bars into your videos. Thanks for watching my video today. If you learned something, make sure you hit that like button below. It actually makes a difference. And if you want to see more videos like this one teaching you how to use Adobe Premiere Elements, make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, take it easy out there. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and until next time, take it easy out there.